Last time we started restoring our historic teak wheelhouse. But we are not done yet. We still have to build the chart table, rebuild the nephlite bases and finish the roof restoration. So this is our wheelhouse. It's at least 73 years old and the window frames are made out of teak. Throughout the years, Flying Coney went through many alterations. She started a life as a wooden warship, was rebuilt as a steel trawler, was converted into a sailing ship and was converted once more into a motor sailor. Throughout all these changes, there is one thing that really stood the test of time. This wheelhouse. Now, after 73 years, it's time to restore this piece of history. So last time, we took off the nephlite bases, fixed the roof with reclaimed marine ply, repaired a rotten corner and did a lot of painting. We also started the never-ending task of revarnishing the teak window frames. The details, never mind. Hello, it's so good to see you again. I'm Barbara and together with Daniel I restored a historic steel ship Flying Coney. So two years ago we bought this massive, abandoned and almost sinking trawler. And step by step we bring Flying Coney back to life. Part of the refit project is to convert her back into a sailing ship. And the vision to sail with young people all around the world keeps us going. This time we built a chart table, rebuilt the nephlite bases and finished the roof restoration. We are still in the Netherlands, so you always have to calculate with bad weather. Luckily, we also had some indoor jobs to do. Also, it's not completely necessary. We always wanted to replace this improvised monstrosity with a nice functional chart table. We've planned to build it out of reclaimed wood. And in case you're wondering, who's that talented woodworker? Well, I'm Harald Keul. I run my own uh, woodworking company and I decided to lend some time towards the flying coin. Last time we got many questions why we haven't fiberglassed the top of the wheelhouse roof. Well, first of all, we didn't have the time for a proper repair, but to prevent further damage, we needed a quick fix. So we decided to, to patch it over. And second, this wheelhouse isn't in the final position. In the sailing ship conversion, this wheelhouse will move a little bit further aft and also it will be lowered. So there is a high chance that we have to alter the wheelhouse roof as well. And if we do so, then we have the time to do a proper repair, to exchange the rotten plywood and to class it over on top of it. And one additional thing is uh, this wheelhouse roof never was classed over and it lasted 50 years. So I think six coats of good quality, one component paint will bring us to five, 10, 15 years in the future.
while Harold built this nice chart table, I continued with the never-ending task that is restoring the teak window frames. The next step was to send everything that could be reached by our sending machine. I am always surprised how such small changes massively improve the overall impression of Flying Coney. Step by step she becomes a beautiful ship again. Speaking about small changes... We had to rebuild the Neflite bases because of obvious reasons. Now yeah, that's well, one way to disconnect the <laughs> Neflite. Wow, nice. You can grow the mushrooms. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> On many sailing ships these bases are mounted on the shrouds and we want to do the same once Flying Coney is a sailing ship again. However, until then we keep them on the wheelhouse, which is very common on trawlers and motor vessels. While Harold built this beautiful Neflite bases, I continued with the wheelhouse. Last time we repaired and painted the roof and now it's white and shiny again. So the next step is to restore the sides of the roof. First we have to prepare it for painting, so it's time for a glorious sanding. While sanding the outsides of the roof, I found a rotten spot here, but it's not as severe as at the back of the roof. So what we are going to do is we treat it with a special fluid to treat any kind of rot. And then we just fill it up with a two component wood filler. And since it's not structural, it should be fine. Also, this corner was the most severe damaged, we also had some other spots to fix. The hardest part is done, now I just have to fill up some more holes from screws and all that. So, this is the perfect stuff for it. A 
and now finally the time has come to put on a new layer of paint. Now that the entire roof has a new layer of paint on, it's time to mount the nef lights again. And while Barbara put on the first layer of primer, I prepared the cardboard templates. The holders of the nef light bases were completely corroded. So instead of refurbishing them, we decided to build them new out of wood. However, 30 years ago when this wheelhouse mounts were built, they just eyeballed the position of the screw holes. So we worked with a cardboard template to make sure everything fits. The trickiest bit is the big hole in the middle, where the nephlite cable goes through. It's a 12mm hole that goes through three pieces of wood and we have no drill that's long enough for the wooden block. So we measured twice, drilled once and in the end everything fitted perfect. The next step is to mount the solar panels. We've long thought about the position on the roof and we ended up putting them in the center of the roof because that way they're not as visible from, from the jetty or from the harbor so it doesn't disturb the line of the boat. So we think that's the best solution but it's still possible to walk around on the roof. We think that's a pretty cool solution for now, but on the long run we have to exchange these solid panels with glued panels on the roof because for a sailing ship it's necessary to walk on this area because the main mast will be right at the front of the wheelhouse, so it's necessary to walk on the roof for tidying up the sails and handling the sails and everything.
So it's finally time to reinstall our navigation lights. So we spent some time off camera to polish them and make them nice and shiny again. These navigation lights are uh, certified for vessels from 20 meters to 50 meters. Unfortunately, they're not LED, but finding ones uh, for vessel our size with LED is quite tricky. So we reuse our old ones and they're nice and shiny and certified, and that's important. The roof is repaired, the nephlets and solar panels are installed and we have a nice new charts table. Speaking about it, we really wanted to show you the varnish on our new charts table. So here it is. But all joking aside, the restoration of our historic wheelhouse turned out to be a much bigger job than we expected. So we had to make compromises. We did the most urgent tasks like repairing the roof and the nephlet bases, but we ran out of time. So sanding and varnishing the teak trim has to wait until next spring. So that's all we have time for today. If you don't want to miss the next video, then make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so YouTube notifies you as soon as we publish it. And just a quick reminder for our Patreons, make sure you don't miss our Zoom call on Wednesday. We look forward to meet you there. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. <music>